What's going on my Brudor brothers? Welcome back to another StarCraft Remastered cast. We've got Mong over here in the top left hand corner. His opponent, Noble, in the top right. I'm not super familiar with this player. Uh, Noble, I don't know if I've casted any of his games before. But his name sounds kind of familiar. I might have seen him in like a tournament uh, ACS or something like that in the past. Uh, I couldn't find him on Liquipedia. So I'm not sure if he's got a page there or what's going on with that. A um, little bit of news here is that seawall.gg, the place where I usually get all of these replays from the ladder, uh, is having a bit of a hard time right now. There's a Battle.net, a problem with Battle.net and the API on the replays. It's not allowing for uh, smooth downloads to happen. So there's a bit of a problem going on there. I'm not at all familiar with the inner workings behind seawall.gg, but apparently it's really messing up their system and it's... Um, uh, we, we don't we don't really know if it's gonna be fixed anytime soon You know blizzard it is what it is You know it might be a week. It might be a year it might be five years. It might be ten years who knows but For now, we're not able to look up player IDs like I couldn't find this to be able to take a look at nobles ID uh, In order to find out like where he's at on the ladder in terms of his score or anything like that It's it's a mess right now guys. We're having a hard time So we're just gonna do what we can pick up the replays that we can find and we'll probably end up doing a bunch more China versus Korea matches to just um, Fill in the gaps here while there are no replay casts available or replays available Excuse me um, with that all being said, we've got a pretty normal build here out of Noble, just going straight on into his range, pumping out a couple Dragoons. He's going to get a Nexus started here in a moment. We've got three Marines out from Mong, and he started his Command Center. Right after that, he popped down his Refinery, and so he will be getting his Factory here relatively soon. Coming forward with this first Dragoon, going to try and put some damage on one of these Marines. He does target down the probe there doing a good job putting some damage on this dragon loses two marines but puts a lot of hp damage on this 30 hp left still a very strong unit even with uh shields only so he's gonna go back home and regain those shields but i'm not 100 sure that was worth it just killing off a couple of marines well i guess we're gonna find out we've got the robotics Facility on the way And whoa, what is this you 238 shells um, That's not something you see very often Looks like an SCV just trying to sneak in here got taken down I Know that a lot of you guys have been commenting or quite a few of you guys have been commenting to me like why would you pay the tax? Why would you pay the the dragoon tax or the protoss tax? It's not really a tax. It's more like a I don't know Because the the protoss doesn't really get the money right somebody else commented that but You're paying the tax here by repaying your or repairing your bunker and Why not get range to defend against this well? He is gonna get range and watch the moment the range finishes, the Dragoons will start to get attacked by this bunker and the four Marines inside. He's got this one low HP Dragoon. Oh, he sees it. Oh my gosh. Why is it? Why, why can't I? Why can't I take the bunker? You actually have range? What? Very confusing stuff. He's got 13 HP left on this Dragoon, but he must be realizing that there is a Marine follow-up coming. Look, just making a bunch of medics right now and adding on a huge amount of barracks oh my goodness this is going to be insane but back at home already with a reaver on the way that is the ultimate counter well maybe not the ultimate counter but it is a great counter to this marine uh, style that we're seeing out of mong right now he's pulled everything off of gas he's stopped making scvs he is going all in 25 SCVs total 
This is a really crisp build, what we're seeing out of Mong right now. Just tons of supply depots being made. A lot of Marines popping out. And he's going to start to push across the map. That first uh, shuttle should be out. Where's the shuttle? Oh, the first Reaver. I mean, it's, it's got to have been picked up already. Okay, going to come up this ramp. Pushing back the Dragoon. Can he get that last shot? Oh my gosh, so close. There's the first Reaver. Um, the Reaver is going to absolutely wreck this, but he runs forward. Going to split, try to kill the shuttle. Spreading out the Marines here, but so many of them die so quickly. He does kill the... Oh, the shuttle, the shuttle. Oh, he gets the shuttle and the Reaver. Wait a minute. How did he make this work against a Reaver and a shuttle Dragoons? It shouldn't be possible. The Reaver can kill so many Marines at a time, but that was some great splitting by Mong. Running right up on top of this. He might be able to kill the robotic support bay. You can queue up more Reavers, but it costs a lot of money. He's going to go ahead and start another one, I think, back at home. No, he doesn't start one yet. He's got a few on the way. Running straight into this natural. Mong's just going to keep pushing the issue as he should. Just trying to get in here and get the killing blow as soon as possible. Oh my god, five Marines right there. Just got annihilated with one single shot. Another Marine goes down. Reaver is still pushing out here right now. I can't see the kill count on this, but it's going to get really high really fast. Now, this is a big problem. Mung, he needs to end the game right now. If he lets this game go on any longer, he's going to be in a huge amount of trouble because the Reavers and are just going to eventually take over this. Oh my, oh my god. So many, 16 kills on that, by the way. 16 kills. And we're going to have another Reaver walking to the ramp. Uh, immediately so that's gonna make its way forward he even has a shield battery I love the shield battery right now it's so hard to kill one of these reavers already and with the shield battery there it's nearly impossible now is he gonna start a factory he does he tries to make a factory here he's gonna try and play his way out of this one he started making SCVs once again up to 32 now trying to take fights with this Protoss army is near impossible eBay on the way Ah, uh, just didn't quite work. It's so tough to make this type of play work, but kudos to Noble for hanging on against it and making the right choices, like just making pure Reaver. I'm sure he queued up a few of them. There's the robotic sport bay in the back just to make sure that he didn't, you know, stop making the Reavers when this went down, when the first robotic support bay went down. And making the shield battery here is big brain as well. Another Nexus is going to come up soon, but... You know, the supplies right now, they don't really matter. The supplies do not tell the full story. The SCV count, probe count, even though it's in the favor of the Protoss, it doesn't really matter. It's the composition of the armies, which is really important right now. The fact that we've got a ton of Marines on the field and, you know, two Reavers and a bunch of Dragoons... It's a really bad spot right now for Mong. He's going to kill off this pro, uh, pylon. Maybe got the probe as well. But he can't push in. There's no way to push in. He has to transition. He's getting infantry weapons though. I am shocked about that. Infantry weapons. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. That's quite the choice at this point in the game. To go into those infantry weapons... We don't have too much uh, being built right now. We've got a Templar Archives. That is the ultimate counter to Marines. This right here is so, so strong. One storm can kill just about, you know, 50 Marines if they are all running forward into the storm. It is wild how quickly those units die. And so... If he's stuck on Marines, when the Reavers and Storms come across the map, he is going to be completely dead. Like, there's no way to survive. So he's going to start to push out with his first few tanks. Try to creep his way into the natural of his Protoss opponent. Try to make or force the Protoss to come out and fight him. And if he can do that, then maybe... Okay, he's going to set up tank on high ground, I guess. Let's stem try to get that observer. He does get that turret gonna come up on high ground here. He may be able to take the third base. He spread a bunch of Marines over at his opponent's third, so preventing him from getting a third. If he gets ahead in bases, it might be doable, but still 
the composition is going to be so much better for Noble. It's wild. Zealot Dragoon already kind of beats Marines, especially if you have armor. Doesn't have armor just yet, but and we are going to get plus one here soon. It's going to go for attack. But yeah, the, the Marines and Zealots still do fight very well against pure bio, but with the Reavers and Storm, it is not even close. It's so one-sided. He's going to have one Storm there. Second Storm coming down right now. He just needs to wait a little bit longer for the energy. Two tanks are all that Mon can pull together right now. Just two Reavers slowly walking out. It's going to be so much DPS, almost too much for these Marines to handle. There's the first Storms. He's going to gun one of them down. He gets both the Storms. Wait a second. Mong actually stops both the Storms from being cast here. Huge, huge move there for Mong. He's going to run right up on top of one of these. Oh my god, this is chaos. Absolute chaos. What a game. He gets both the Reavers. The second Reaver went down in that fight. That is ridiculous. Can he actually push forward for a win? He's got one tank left. Can he bunker forward and keep the tanks flowing here to maybe take this win? He doesn't have a third base. Neither does Noble. He just started his. He just started it now. Another Templar comes down. I don't know if he missed his window here because two more Templar at the front. You cannot break through that with pure Medic Marine. Even with tanks, it's going to be very, very hard. But, oh my god, the supporting Marines here are going to get shredded by these Templar if they have to take a fight with them. Uh, here comes the Templar. He's waiting for the storm, and he backs away right as the storm starts to come down. This is some great dodging. Some fantastic dodging of the storms by Mong, but is it going to be enough? One more storm goes down. A few more Marines do fall, but he hangs onto this position and he's going to keep on rallying forward. The problem is we're going to get a third base online very soon. There's the third for Mong as well. No, he's still got plans here in this game. DTs are going to start to pop out. A turret begins. That's very important that he gets that turret online. We've got some probes being transferred down. One single cannon on high ground. That's going to prevent... Uh, small groups of marines from taking that on. Tanks pushing in. I don't see any uh, storms. No Templar in this army. Where are the... Uh, wh wh where are the units? There's the storm. There's a DT. But he doesn't have energy. He doesn't have energy to, uh, to cast that. He's going to go after the Photon Cannon. He does kill the Dark Templar as well. We've got a storm here in about 10 seconds. Three Dragoons remain. Can still utilize that shield battery. Hasn't used that just yet. Still got 200 energy on it. Should definitely make some use out of that with these Dragoons. Single cannon over here. Second cannon going to be added on. But Mong is completely focused on breaking through this natural. This is a crazy game, guys. Some of these engagements have been just insane. And some of the missed opportunities for Storms have been tragic for Noble. They've really given him a hard time in this game. Like, set him up for a very difficult game where he should be able to take this relatively easily. Now the bunkers are here in the front. And with a whole bunch of bunkers and upgraded marines inside of them. I don't know, guys. Can he actually possibly hold Noble in his base? I mean, that's scary. Look at this coming across this ramp. You should really fill up all these bunkers. You know, you can't hit... Marines with Storm when they're in bunkers, right? That kind of cancels it out. It's a good counter to the Storm usage. I don't know how this is going to go, man. Is he just going to try and break out some Zealots running around the outside of the map? They're looking for some Storms or some uh, hidden bases, excuse me. I don't know where Storms came from. Some Vultures finally coming out. More factories are being added. He's starting to push in. That's not what I was expecting. I thought he was going to sit... Uh, a little bit longer and just contain the Protoss, but he really wants to push forward and have a fight with him. He's going to eat one storm there, but just on a single tank, and he's got an SCV to repair as well. This is really good stuff from Mong. He's got the... F oh, wait. This one Zealot, kind of annoying in the mineral line, actually going to deal quite a bit of damage. There we go. Gets cleaned up. Another storm here at the front, unfortunately. SCV going to go down. Another storm to finish off that tank, but Templar falls as well. Not the greatest trade there for Noble. Starting to push in once again. Getting right here in the front. 
Does lose a Vulture. Going to set, set up some mines between the third and the natural. This is a really good move for Mong. You know, these units out here on the map, they're going to have to go around and hit the back, probably. Um, otherwise, they are going to have to run through mines to come here to reinforce. Picking off a couple of the Reavers. This Reaver shot could be huge. Very nice storm there at the front. The army is moving around on the minimap here, but it's not actually fighting anything. Oh my god, so many kills there. That was really unfortunate. A lot of the marine power from Mong just disappeared. We're going to go picture in picture because right now the natural is being attacked. Oh man. Can he actually push through here? There's no energy on this Templar. He's getting in with the vultures, but meanwhile, back at home, he's losing a lot. That army is unstoppable, pushing into his natural. You can see Mong losing a lot of SCVs right now as he pushes in to the Protoss natural. Can he get on top of all of these gateways? There's so many gateways to continue reinforcing, and there's not a whole lot from Mong that's helping him. Uh, back at home, but looks like he's just barely gonna clean up. Maybe. Oh, he's fighting with SCVs, vultures, and tanks. This base over here is fully mining. This is being harassed right now. Zealots are going to work on the 12 o'clock as well. Dude, I think that Mong's just barely not gonna win this game. It was a pretty good attempt here, but you could just see uh, exactly why Mech is so powerful in this matchup. Oh my gosh, the storms there. So, so good. He does get the Nexus, but back at home, he is in absolute shambles. One at Command Center flying home with just 17 SCVs remaining. Is there any hope left in this game for Mong? I mean, he's got to come down here, I think. Try to kill this base. Hope that, you know, the mines and all the Marines and bunkers. Oh no, he doesn't have any Marines in these bunkers, unfortunately. Hoping that just mines can help him to survive in this game. Oh my gosh, he's going to lose that to a cannon. That's so unfortunate. Big storm here. Finishing off the last two tanks. And everything else will get cleaned up, dude. Mong, he tried it, man. He went for the bio play. It didn't work out in the end. Not working out in his favor. He will get his natural back up in mining. But look at how little is left here. Both players very, very low on economy. Both mining on just one base, but the one base that Protoss is mining, far superior. So much more minerals remaining at that base. Really, Mong can only put together an army capable of defending his natural. He cannot really defend another base out on the map right now. So as soon as this runs out, he'll have to make a choice. Either take everything and go defend another base, or maybe defend a base here, or stay here and defend the natural. I don't know. Split his army, a little bit of defense here, a little bit of defense here. It's so hard to say what, what's the right choice right now. He is getting around the map with some vultures, making sure that there's no fourth base at least, but right now, I mean, he's, he's waiting for uh, enough money for a nexus. I, oh, maybe that's not even enough minerals here to be, make, it, make it worth it. Yeah, just long distance mine that, I guess. Try to get a Nexus elsewhere. But really, he is sitting on one base. It's true. Protoss on one base versus Terran on one base. Kind of an interesting situation we found ourselves in. Up to 70 supply. That's not too bad. Remember, a lot of that's Marines, though. Well, not a lot of it, but, you know, there's quite a significant amount of Marines mixed in. So that's not, you know, Vultures or Tanks. Which would be a much better fighting option. Let's see. He's going to push up onto the high ground here. Is he splitting his units? It looks like he has to. He's got a bunker over here. He's got tanks over here. All set up along this axis. He's going to build another CC over at 12 o'clock. And Noble's trying to get out on the map and grab another base. Some vultures are going to come down. This is great moves from Mong. Hoping to cap, cap, uh, catch a probe being sent from over here. Down to the bottom right. Oh, looks like one made it by. Okay, so that probe made it by. It's going to start the Nexus. That's a bit unfortunate. Not able to delay that any further. What are we at? 1-0. With plus one armor on the way here for Terran. There's still shuttles. There's still storms. Storm drops are a thing. 27 workers remain here for Mong. So... It's not making that much of a difference right now. Because we're only mining on one base. You can only mine with like 20 workers on a base... Um, anything more than that 
you're really losing out on a lot of efficiency for those miners but as soon as he gets another base online he's gonna have two base full mining capacity right on 50 workers you can absolutely saturate both these two bases and then be on full two base mining whereas mong here he's gonna have to keep making scvs and when this is done he's gonna be back on one base because this is gonna run out he'll be on one base mining to the two bases of protoss and look at this drop coming in right now can he actually catch this oh great move here for mong i can't believe he was on top of that he just saved himself in this game if that storm drop got in and killed all these workers the game would have been over i mean we just don't have enough workers to make this to keep this going it's just not gonna happen so he manages to fend off defeat there for a mo moment catastrophe averted but he's still not in a great spot he's still on one base mining to the now two base but it hasn't fully kicked in yet for protoss right it's just now kicking in that income from down here at the bottom right so maybe now is the right time maybe he can get in here and fight and kill noble before he really gets rolling with that uh, extra bit of mining now he's just gonna go for the counter i love this from noble he realizes there's just not enough over here He's going to pull the trigger on a big old counter. Try to kill off 12 o'clock. There are some Marines in the bunker over there. Zealot's going to get on top of a lot of this. Dragging the mines into the tanks. Big tank explosion here with the storms coming down as well. That was the last army of Mong. Mong still mining at 12 o'clock, but he just lost everything that he's been building up to this game. Oh, man. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. That's so painful. And he's going to come in and drop storms on top of this as well. Oh my god. So many kills here. Down to just 12 workers. And you cannot put together a reasonable army with so few workers. He's going to pull immediately his gas workers from top left, from his main base, down here to try and keep his mining going. Bunch of probes trying to be transferred down to the bottom right-hand corner. But one tank down here making itself a nuisance. We've got some storms. We've got some zealots. That should be enough to deal with this. But can he kill the cannon and start to kill all the probes before that happens? Yeah, he does get the he does get that. Can he get every probe? If he kills every probe down here, I mean, maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a hope beyond a hope that Mon can bring this one back. He's going to drop some mines. He's going to go after probes. He's going after the storms. He tries to kill the Templar. He doesn't get them all. Going to go up into the main base now. There's a couple probes over here that he can start to ravage. He doesn't have anything over here to block the next rally. But it's not being sent out just yet anyway. Noble is losing all of his mining down here. Is now just down to 36 workers. But again, 12. 12 workers for mong he's gonna try to shut down this storm drop can he actually stop it oh another storm drop dealing a bunch more damage a whole bunch more kills on this 11 kills total on that archon or i guess that one templar maybe the archon together has more kills total there's more probes being transferred down just nine workers now for our terran player mong it's been such a good run my friend you had an amazing game here making it so close oh he's got one last move i love mong he is hilarious dude this guy is such a character and this his character really showing out in this game look at him trying to make something work right now with just a bare minimum number of units he's like maybe maybe two tanks and five vultures maybe i can make it happen you know yeah. you get the right mind connection you know who knows maybe something can can go wrong here for the protoss player there's a good mind connection there you go he kills all the dragoons you wouldn't expect the, the that small army to actually be able to kill all that but he did make it work now is he gonna get caught uh unseaged here it looks like he will and it gets pushed back that's too many units gg is called Oh, man, what a wild, wild game between Mung and Noble. You don't get to see too many of those, my friends. Those were, or that was 
just one of those incredible, spectacular, off-meta games that only comes around every once in a while. Generally, when you do a push like that, what Mong did, uh, and it doesn't work with the initial Marine attack, it is just over. The game ends, go next. Like, there's no way to bring it back. But Mong, he tries it. He tries like a hybrid bunker tank push uh, into, you know, mass... Uh, what's it called factories and a third base and like trying to play it out semi-normal but still mixing in marines uh, it's just it's incredible it's crazy it was a lot of fun to cast i hope you enjoyed watching it and i'll see you in the next one